Ta-da! Yes, that's right, it's tutorial time! It's been a while. Dance Gavin Dance, Night Sway. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is tune your guitar to standard tuning and then drop your low E string down to D. Done it? Good. Let's crack on. So the opening riff. So let's start with guitar one. Hopefully you can see this okay. Uh, and that is this one Yeah. So let's take this first portion. We are on your A string on the fifth fret on the note D, hammering on to the note E, which is the seventh fret. So what we have is pick, hammer, and then pick, 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 pick. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go back to a D. And then we jump straight to 5th fret on your low E string, which is now your low D string. And then from there, we stay on that low D string. And we do this bar, which is... So putting these two bars together... That's kind of it for the intro. So we do three of those, and then the fourth time, we'll come back to the second guitar in a second, we do the first bit again. And then, second bar. Only as we hit this E, the second fret. We do 202. Um, again, I've put it on, it's slightly palm muted, and I've put it on the bottom two strings just to fatten it up a little bit. Fatter, fatter, fatter. Um, and that's what you get for that. So the last time, these two bars goes. So that's it for that intro part. So that is kind of part one done, uh, guitar one anyway. Um, so all together we have three of these. Three. Fourth one. With a different ending on. And that's the first part of the verse. Now the other guitar does exactly that but an octave higher. So we still have the same notes. We'll have the D hammering onto an E. Or go down to a G on the end. It's the same rhythm, it's the same picking, it's the same everything. Um, uh, and then we're here again. There are many ways of playing those notes. And even that end part, uh, the variation on the end is still the same. Just that, it's the octave, it completes the, the three notes of the power chord you type thing. Uh, and there you go, that is kind of the verse one, the first part of the verse. Uh, I've labeled it verse one A. So now let's move on to the next section. Guitar one is exceptionally easy, as long as you can. <laughs> Uh, accurately hit the notes when you're sliding. I suppose that's a skill to kind of practice in its own right. Just start from anywhere. And if you're aiming for, say, fret 15, we're aiming for a D. To be able to land on it every time. But that's all that does. It's just four of those. Another four of those. And then we move down to the 12th fret. Six of those, and then 12th fret on your G. And that's it. So that guitar is really, really easy. Uh, and it's it's just, I suppose, good practice to try and to do the slider thing so you're not overshooting it quite a lot or not quite making the note uh, and things. But that's nice and easy. So the other guitar, this one, a little more complicated, a little more difficult. Okay, we have some uh, little clickety clackety clickities in between. So basically, it's this. It's those three notes uh, just repeated. So we slide up to the seven and followed by two little clickies. Okay, so. 
that's the first thing to get sorted. Um, so it's that twice, but the second one doesn't have the slide on it. So the first one you see here, we've got the little slide. Whoop, and the second one doesn't. And it's a little two beat phrase that repeats. So it's slide, no slide. Next two, slide, no slide, and so on. Okay, so those two together, we do slide, no slide. It's more awkward for your picking hand to do at speed, I suppose, than your, your fretting hand. Uh, but it's that, and then we just have uh, two different endings. So your first ending on the fourth bar, so it's three bars of that, so it's one, two, and then the ending is just these three notes here. Okay, da, da, da. All right, there we go. So we do the slide. So seven. And we go eight, seven on your B string. And then down to that, uh, that seven, that D on your G again. So we have. Again, finger-wise, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you exactly which fingers to use for it, but I tend to use middle finger or third finger, ring finger for the slidey, and then that allows you to swap to this first finger for that little do 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 flat finger, and then kind of roll it across to get that one. So that's that, and then what we do is essentially the same sort of thing, but we move up to uh, up to an E, up to the ninth fret. Which is the same thing. And then we have the first kind of weirdly complex thing, uh, which again, I think is right. I don't know, it could be played very differently to this. Um, but from what my ears can work out, these are the notes. Again, none of my tabs, I never claim to be correct or accurate or exactly how they play them. I listen to the songs, I hear some notes, I work out where I play those, and then I play things. So, this is not gospel. Don't, don't quote me on all of this stuff. We start with a 7 and slide up uh, to 12 and then back to 11. So what I would do is probably go middle finger, go 7, 12, then come off. Again, accuracy with those slides. And then we jump up to a 15. And pull off to an open string. So 15, pull off to an open B. So. And then we do that same slide again, 7 up to 12. Uh, I'd go first finger this time. So middle finger. Pinky. First finger. And then third finger. Or pinky. It's up to you. For this high uh, F sharp. So we have uh, so all together three. Then up to there, I used my first finger then because I wasn't thinking about it. There you go. Middle finger is definitely best. Um, there you go. That 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 section done. And then from there we are into the bridge. Let's plow through it. Let's just power, power on. Uh, again, guitar one's nice and simple. We have a little, um, little minor second chromatic kind of discord thing. Okay, so we go 15 on the top string and a 19 there. Again, rhythm wise. Um, it's roughly that rhythm again I kind of make it I kind of improvise a lot of this when I play these songs um, but I, 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 yeah it just, it just it's those two notes see what see, see how it goes <laughs> anyway uh, and then it, uh, from the 15 and the 19 um, we move to a 12 and a 15 a little bit less discordant than that because it's actually tone away so it's a second as opposed to the semitone okay so it's just that uh, that's that guitar okay so this part is probably uh, 
no no i don't think it's the hardest part of the song uh, it, it's just quick it's just a, a quick tapping pattern but the tapping pattern is quite simple um again it's speed that makes this difficult uh, and it's kind of the same thing three times with a variation on the fourth one as it is standard with these sorts of things so what we have is we are tapping on a 15 on your uh, b strings let's just highlight these three notes okay and then we're pulling off to a 12 and down to a 10. So your first step, I suppose, is to go. Try and get that up to speed. Okay. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four of those. So it's a three note pattern, a three note phrase. Uh, but it's played in 16th notes, which is four notes per beat. So what, what we actually end up with is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So three of uh, three of the sets of 16th notes. Why did my brain stop that? Three of the sets of 16th notes, one, two, three, is actually one, two, three, four taps on 15. Did you see what I mean? So it's that one. Which leaves one beat left at the end uh, to play four full notes in, and this time we jump up to tapping on seventeen. Uh, and then what we do is get your pinky finger up to that fifteen. So ten, twelve, fifteen. Tap on seventeen. So. So I suppose the main thing to practice with this is getting it even. So you don't want to... And have those gaps and stuff in between. It's the standard thing when you're learning stuff. There's a little gap where you either have to shift or just think about what you're doing next and things. So to practice, I would go... Really slow and steady, maybe even to a maximum. And uh, just get it as accurate and even as you can. So that's one bar. We use three of those. So this one, this one, and this one. And then we uh, change the pattern slightly for your fourth time. Uh, we still go on a 12 and a 10, a D and an E, um, but now we jump to your high E string and we still tap on 15, uh, but this finger or this finger or whichever finger you're using to tap moves around. Okay, so we still go exactly the same as before, but we go 15, 14, 15, 17, 19. Okay, it's the same three, 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 four pattern, but this one moves. So it's one, two, three, four. And then again, pinky finger up to 15 for your four notes on the end. So one, two, three, four. And when we put all those together, we get all four bars, funnily enough. Uh, And there we go. I think the most difficult part about that tapping section is getting to it from the crazy little lick before it, uh, beforehand. So. We need some way of picking that. And then kind of coming across to get that tap. Um, you need to be quite, quite swift with your um, position changes there uh, but that's that section anyway again it's all very straightforward this song there's nothing massively complex about it uh, probably except for your that little lick in the uh, in the chorus but we're not there yet let's move on to the next section okay so this next 
portion is this one. This, I suppose this would be, what would this be? A, another little bridge mm. bit. I don't know, a bridge is just going from one thing to another. So it's yet another bridge. Um, we have just one phrase that repeats three times with a note on the end. So the phrase is quite easy. It's just that, again, you could hammer it on if you want. You could uh, pick it all, which I think I do. So it's up to you, and again, finger-wise, nothing too complicated. You can use whatever fingers you like. Um, the only difference is, after the fourth time, we slide up to a 17, and then go down to a 12. So we go. So you slide up. go down there that's easy easy peasy 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 and then the other guitar um, down on some lower rhythm stuff that bit um, this is kind of it's the same thing twice but we changed this first note from a 5 to a 2 so from a G to an E um, so let's go for the first one so we start with a 5 there on your low D string and then we kind of there's a slide but rather than just sliding that finger up I find it better to go and then pick get this third finger doing it kind of take over this note with this third finger and then move on you could start with your third finger if you want uh, but again remember you're coming from this Okay, so you're coming from the tap straight into that. Uh, so you've got to kind of jump, so bear that in mind. Again, because it's quite fast, it's quite a tricky um, thing to jump between these sections. Anyway, so. We do five, five, seven. So that's da, da. And then we stay on that seven, but jump to your low E string. And then slide up to nine, so. Finger wise, the dial up to you, whatever works. Then your second time round is the same, but instead of playing this note, this G, we play uh, an E. So we go down to the second fret, which makes this slide a little more sensical. Sensical? Is that a thing? Nonsensical is the thing. Sensitive, not sensitive. It makes more sense. Sensible bit more sensible so we start on the G for the first one let's play all of this um, so I guess that's both guitar parts for that little section another quite simple section uh, okay so let's start with guitar 2 the uh, chords uh, in fact there's kind of eight bars of this so rhythm again is subject to whatever you fancy doing when you play it if you're getting into it and rocking out you can just kind of just whack away it's fine it doesn't matter um, but your first chord is it's just a C5 it's a C power chord so we're going three five five The one thing that does happen, uh, which if you watch my transcription video, uh, you'll see me kind of trying to work out exactly one, whether it happens and two, when it happens rhythmically. Um, but uh, Tillian's vocals kind of drop down to that flat five. So if you want to add that in, it kind of happens around this fourth beat. Um, so. so just come off with this third finger and go to your middle finger to play this four here. Okay, so it's that C5 chord, that's your first two bars. And then we jump down here, uh, and this is uh, an E minor chord. Obviously we're in drop D, so your open E for a regular E minor. Needs to move up to that second fret, so I just do that with one finger. And then we move up here, uh, 
which is uh, ah, that didn't go well oh no I deleted it there we go that's what happens when your finger slips on the mouse buttons anyway we have this chord which is uh, a G G major chord again because uh, we're in drop D we're just moving from this regular bar chord shape this note needs to move up to a G and I would do that middle finger kind of spooked across those three notes and then first finger on the four and again you can add that little vocal G down to the F sharp or oh, I suppose you can do it like that and lift your pinky off again whatever feels more comfortable for you uh, and then finally we have this chord which is it's just a D it's a D5 so it's like a D power chord here. But I'm moving that to play the A, and then just doing your open D string. Again, these are roughly the chords, these are the, the tonalities of the chord. Open to interpretation. We have a C, we have an E minor, we have a G, we have a D. Okay, however you want it, you could do C, E minor, G, D. You know, it's up to you. There we go. That's your rhythm for the chorus. That's the easy part. Um, so now, uh, um, there we go. Probably the most complicated part of the song uh, is this first riff and then this riff. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for this first part here. Uh, this bit. We start with a 10 to a 12, and then slide down to a 5. And then, I'd, you can include that open string there. So let's go four notes. So again, you need to be accurate with that slide. He's sliding back down. I suppose you could pull off. It's up to you. And then we're jumping right back up here to a 10 10. 15, 14. So, a bit of a stretch, bit of a jump, this one. You can either try and reach up, pinky, or you can jump up. Again, it's not a million miles an hour, so you've got time, um, relatively speaking, to jump your fingers up if you need to. So that's that part. Now this next part, uh, we're skipping half a beat at the start, so it starts on the and of the one, so one and, that's where your note comes in. So it's on the off beat. And we have. A, a straightforward little um, kind of scale lick. Like a pentatonic thing. That's easy enough. Uh, but putting these two together again, kind of awkward because you've got the jump and you've got the little gap. Ooh, play it well, Michael, play it well. Here we go, that's the one. Um, okay, and then your next part. I think I played it wrong in my cover video, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> I do that quite a lot. I often look back and go, oh, I did that wrong, but never mind. Um, okay, so again, let's um, split this down into just these first two notes. It kind of fits around like a D chord, or a D chord shape, it's not a D chord. Okay, so it's like a, it's a G major chord, essentially. It's like a D major chord shape. You can take that one up there. Play it there, and we get this now. Um, that's how I visualize it anyway, but anyway. Um, so we go. Those notes there. And then we get these and notes here. I keep hitting this on the wall. Oh, poor thing. It's fine. Um, 
lights out. It's a bit squeezy, 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 crampy for the fingers. So just make sure what you need to do when you get to this part is just develop tiny hands so you can reach those notes better. Okay, think about that. Um, and then we kind of reverse these first two notes. So those first two notes go. And when we get to this part, they go the other way. Okay, so putting those together and getting this first bar done. See what I mean? It's a bit <laughs> finicky for the fingers. Um, so, again, whatever fingers work for you for that one, ah, just like everything else. There are very few things that I'll tell you exactly which fingers to use for because everybody's different. And again, how to pick it, I pick all of this pretty much pretty much all of it just alternate picking so again down up 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 okay um okay and then these three notes on the end if you don't have 24 frets or find it awkward to get to that 24th fret to get to that b we can play it here so we could move this note to there okay so you could go It's up to you what you fancy doing there. But those are the three notes anyway. Okay, and then we put this part together. Uh, and there we go, that's all of that first uh, first time through. Again, it's the standard first time through. We do that second time, we just change that last note. Uh, to something else, but I'll show you that shortly and play this whole thing. So that's the first one and then if you uh, do the second one first part's the same second part's the same only instead of going down to this note here this 19 uh, sorry this D on your uh, third string we stick with 22 okay just there so we stick with the G uh, on your B string so we go instead of okay that's the only variation in it um yeah there you go so all of those all together first ending second okay and that's the difference again over those chords or whatever interpretation of those uh, you wish to do. Okay, so your next little section, this is the last part. Um, so guitar one, again, very, very simple. We just start with, in fact, let's do these ones. So we're on 12, 12. And then we go fifth, D, back to 12. So B, B, D, D. Okay. Again, many ways of playing that uh, identifying. You could leave them ringing out. Again, so many ways of doing it, but that, that's all very simple. And then we have these three notes are 15, 14, 15. So G, F sharp, D. And then we go down to a B. Okay. Um, so. And it just repeats that a second time we go. Yeah. I just kind of stop because wow, 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 with a little delay and reverb. And then we're back into that part again. Uh, the other guitar. This is my favorite part of the song. Um, this is very, very, very Andrew Wells esque. Um, so I'm hoping you wrote this bit because I like this bit. Sounds very much like his sort of thing. It's that. <laughs> Beautiful, I like that sound. Okay. Uh, 
uh, again, it, it's not hard. We have uh, yeah, I've put a hammer on in the tab, but again, yeah, open to interpretation. You could pick it, you could slide it. It's up to you. So we have. Up to you what you want to do. So five, 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 five four, five, seven. And then we go. So this part, this would be uh, a time when I would tell you to try and use your first finger or your middle finger. If you're using your middle finger, your next bit, we kind of slide. Uh, what are we, here, down to a seven. Which is kind of awkward with the pinky finger. So if you're doing this, I'd probably go first finger, and then third finger. So. Could do that. I'd probably do that. And then. Yeah. So that's seven, seven, five. On your D string. Uh, and then again we're following the with a very similar sort of thing so da, da, da. And, go there. Eight, seven, seven, nine. Uh, and then the second one same thing again only we jump down to a, a low E on the last one so that's that one. So again, all of that part together, both guitar sections, that one and that one. And from there, um, you just repeat the entire song exactly the same. That's exactly one half of the song. The rest is all the same. Okay, um, so uh, there we go. That is my tutorial for Night Sway by the dance, Gavin the Dance. It's not a particularly difficult song. Again, it's got awkward part. If you're not proficient with tapping, you're going to find that a bit difficult. If you've got the that sort of technique um, not quite up to up to speed, um, then that bit's going to be a bit awkward. You know, you'll probably find something. Or the sliding, making sure you're not sliding all over the place and actually hitting the note you're meaning to play. Um, so, as with all of them, a few awkward things, lots of techniques, uh, but just a lot of fun. That's all that matters. Have fun playing. If you can't play the song, then just have fun learning the song. Have fun trying to play the song. Have a goal of being able to do it and then have fun on the way there. And when you get there, you'll have more fun because you've done it and you'll be um, just excited and there'll be a sense of pride. It'll be good. Good. Practice your guitars. Anyway, I'll see you next time.